Hello, my name is Brenton and I work at the Elmer's Public Library Makery. Today, I'm going to show you how to take an image and convert it into a vector file using Adobe Illustrator. This is important when using our equipment like the laser cutter, which has two different functions, raster engrave, which lets you engrave on the surface of a material, and vector cut, which lets you cut material up to a quarter inch thick. Vector files are required for vector cut on our laser cutter. So to start off, I'm going to head on over to Google and search for an image I want. So I want an anchor, and then I'm going to include the words black and white on it in order to get black and white images, because that works much better when doing the image trace. I want to go over to the Images tab. And since I don't want to copyright any, any copyright laws, I'm going to go under Tools, Usage Rights, Labeled for Reuse, then I'm going to find what image I'd like. So I want this one. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to right click and click Save Image As. Now you want to ensure that your file is either a PNG, JPEG, or TIFF file in those file formats. Other ones may not work correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. Um, something to note is when I'm on my document here, I am in the Essentials workspace. So what the workspace is intentionally doing is it, it's the formatting of where everything is. So if you happen to be another one, I would recommend moving over because the function of everything is the same, but where the locations of certain buttons are change. So it's be super helpful to move over. So again, I'm on that Essentials tab. I'm going to go ahead and click File, Place. place. Click on my file and click place again. When bringing it in, I'm going to drag it on in. There we go. So now if you can kind of see here, this is still just a normal JPEG image. As you can see that we got that bounding box around it. So I'm going to click on the image and then click image trace and then default. So these other options are not necessarily useful for this, but will come in handy if for, you know, if you're using a more complex image and with color or something like this. So for just for this, we're going to go ahead and click default. And then I'm going to click this button down here that says expand. So now if I click on out and hover over, you can see that actually the outline of the anchor is blue very hard to see, but you can't see it. So now what I'm going to do is click on it and then click over to this direct selection tool, which can also be uh, selected by clicking A on your keyboard. And then I'm going to click this bounding box around it because I do not want that. So what that's doing is it's using that box as also some more lines and we'll cut that out as well. Another thing I want to do is ensure that any inside portion is deleted as well. So I'm going to click on that circle there and delete it. So now all we are left with, and you kind of see when I move it around, we're just left with the lines of that file. So now I have my anchor converted into an SVG. So I'm now ready to go ahead and save this and bring it on over to the Makery's computer for laser cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and click file, save as, name it what I want. So I want, you know, anchor BW, and then where it says file type, I want SVG. Then I'll click save. This box should come up. Uh, you can just click OK. No need to change any settings for this. And now you are saved. Thank you.